E3 is officially dead. Fortnite gets a huge win, and Xbox Game Pass might be free. I'm Craig with the Niche News of December 13th, 2023. E3 is officially dead as of December 12th, 2023. We are no longer going to see this famous summer conference, but you know what? It's actually been dead for quite some time now. Not just thanks to COVID, but thanks to the waning attendance of not just developers, the public, and also the general interest. Thanks to Nintendo, well, many are claiming that their direct started this whole massacre. Truthfully, we've been down this track for many years, and things like the Summer Game Awards, as well as, as, well as other game festivals, really put the nail in the coffin in E3. And while we will miss classic moments like Reggie on stage, honestly, this couldn't be for the better in our opinion. Epic Games has sued Google and won. The verdict, including the findings that Google not only abused ties between App Store and billing services to harm companies like Epic, but also had distribution agreements with publishers like Activision, Ubisoft, and Square Enix that became monopolistic and held games tied to those platforms due to those contracts. Google has announced that they plan to repeal the outcome, or what's interesting is the verdict between the Apple versus Epic Game Store trial. And while this is all very confusing, and if you want to know more details, we put the link up to the article in the description below. Either way, we're glad to see that somebody is taking on these large giants. Microsoft announces a free Xbox Game Pass tier. That's right, if you don't mind watching ads, just about every two hours is what the details of this are going to entail. Now, as someone who grew up in that kind of Gen X, near millennial generation, I'm used to watching TV with ads, so I don't mind every now and then for about three minutes getting up, taking a stretch, go to the bathroom, make a sandwich, and come back just for the TV to come back onto the show that I was watching. Now, we are curious, though, how this is going to affect Gen Alpha and Gen Z, because you poor kids didn't grow up with ads on your TV. Now, they're going to be in your games. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was November's best-selling game in the U.S., and surprisingly, it's the second best of the year. However, unsurprisingly, this game came out on November 10th, right before the Black Friday holiday season, which was the, probably the smartest move the Call of Duty developers could make. Now, every teenage boy who wanted Call of Duty is probably getting it for Christmas this year, unless they ask for Hogwarts Legacy, which is already the number one best-selling game of 2023. And our final story of the day is that we hope that you hit that like, subscribe button, all that YouTube stuff. You guys know what to do at this point. But hey, we hope you have a great day, a wonderful holiday coming up, and don't forget, happy gaming.